Well, hello and welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. And I'm Michael Mandel. We're here live. You know, I want to apologize for last week's show. We, w we got on seven minutes late. That's because I... That well, if you'd show up on time. I know. I had to run back to the car because I remembered that I left my pet fly in the car and I didn't keep the window cracked, so I, I opened it a crack. When I got back, somebody had stolen it. Well, you know, um, you can zip up so and fly. It's you what wouldn't have that problem. Well, but, you know, it's really warm out. It's good to stay air conditioned. I see. you got to let that thing breathe. Yes. Keep uh. it breathing. It's got those grates on it. We're doing a show this week. We, we're, we're on after some show. Yeah, and there's, and there's another know, show that follows it's, us. That's it's funny it's how true. that works. It just keeps going. They, you know, they just back them up. They're just waiting to get in at the door now since we're live right now. So Here, Saturday talk, at 11. Let's talk about things that aren't uh, live that are filmed. Well, you know, this week we've got the Las Cruces, well, our own film festival. It's called, it's the, called White the White Sands, Sands. Sands. International yes. Film Festival. And that's coming uh, this coming week, next week, starting on uh, Thursday night. And everything will be shown at the cinema at the mall, I believe, right? Except, except for... your movie, which will be shown at your house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, well, actually, uh, Saturday night, which is the awards ceremony, yes. that's going to be at the Rio Grande Theater downtown. That'll be a week from today. Yeah, that's right. The um, Rio Grande Theater. The Rio Grande Theater downtown, Saturday There's night. There's seating for 400 there, so right. that should fit everybody. Well, there, there's Ooh. also going to be a lot of people outside. I think they're going to set up TVs outside to watch it for those who can't get in. There will also be food and drink. There will be musicians outside. Uh, it's going to be quite an event. So is your movie up possibly to win an award because it's a short subject? Well, it's short. Uh, my film. Short. My film is entered in the festival. Yes. And it was accepted as an official selection, and it, which, by the way, it airs uh, Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock when the short block uh, of the short, the films, block of short films. Right, there's two short blocks. So I'm in the first short block on Friday. To get in this, did you have to pay off uh, Judge Murphy? Well, we don't want to talk about that if we no. don't have to. Um, all I can say is I did have to pay to get in. Yes, there is an entry fee. Like 15 bucks? Uh, well, uh, I think it was more than that, actually. Like 15.75. But um, anyway, what's select just just because you entered doesn't mean you're going to get in. Oh, that's true. That's right. I'm like my film is showing tonight in Salt Lake City at a film festival. At the Salt Lake City Film Festival. Tonight, Saturday yeah, night, today, the yeah. 20th mm -hmm. of August. Yes, and uh, then the following Friday we'll be right here at the White Sands International Film Festival. Look how your shirt blends in with the background. You should wear more contrasty clothes. Well, the background is black. My shirt's a dark purple, sort of. Yeah, right, right. So there is that separation of tonal quality. Uh, the subtlety escapes everybody who's watching well, every all three of you. Thank I, you. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank for, you. Thank for you all us. for watching. We appreciate That's it. That's right. So we like to have an odd number of people so you could vote. And, yeah. Uh, yes. Well, just in case. Speaking of voting, you know, people do vote on uh, at the film the festival. Film festival. Yes. They vote on the audience favorite. Uh, they vote on best director, or best film. I'm not sure what else. I'm not worried about that. My, my film is not the kind of film to win awards. <laughs> there is a jury. Well, you said it. There is a jury that uh, votes on the films. Uh, the only people who vote that aren't the jury people are, is the audience. There is an audience favorite. Oh. Best short, best feature. Do they get rotten eggs to throw at you? No? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Do? Sure, okay. sure. Right. Bring your rotten fruits and vegetables. And vegetables, yeah. Don't throw them it's on the screen. It's just like the old days when, when you, you had a voice Vaudeville. in politics, right? Yeah. That's what you like. You like a voice in politics. I do like a voice in politics. But before we get to that, uh, we're still talking about the film festival, Michael. Let's, let's a little not stray bit. from the topic. Today. I wouldn't go there. Um, so anyway, the film festival runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, the tickets are available. It's seventy-five dollars to get a ticket into everything. You save money if you do that. Uh, You're of, starting to sound like PJ. If you, you see know, have PJ's uh, spiel, PJ Wagman, yes, for getting into the uh, uh, the Sea Valley Film Festival. Yeah, yeah, sure. He tells He's you. Right. He tells you if you buy a uh, season ticket for the film festival, or if you become a member, he, it's free. he says you can. It's not free. He says it's you get three hundred and thirty-three dollars of bargains right. for a seventy-five dollar ticket. So, but that's but that's different than the White well, Sands well, Film Festival. Well, this film festival is seventy-five dollars to get into everything. If you go to everything, uh, you're probably getting like one hundred and fifty dollars worth of, uh, of product. So you might as well do that if you're into film festivals. Otherwise, you can you can pay as you go. Each program costs well, I don't know eight or ten bucks. By product, you mean snacks? No, by products I mean films. Media. The films. 
Well, film, and there's also seminars, by the way, you can also attend. And Mark Medoff is in uh, probably a lot of them. Who, else, who he, else is going to be in there? Well, uh, Linda Hamilton will be there. because oh, she's famous. Her she film was, was premiering. In, wasn't she in the Terminator movie? Yes, she was in Terminator movies, both uh, two of them. Two of them? And, and then, what, also, that ended, yeah, I guess? Yeah. She uh, was only in the first two. Well, then you've got a movie like that. Val that Kilmer ended. is coming down. He's the honored guest this year. And he was Batman. He was, was Batman. He the first Batman. No, he was second Batman. Second Batman. And then uh, they're doing an honor, uh, tribute things. to him. Val Kilmer was also Jim Morrison, wasn't he? Was Jim Morrison. In fact, they're showing the, the they're doors. showing the Doors movie. That was a great movie. And they're showing uh, the uh, Western movie uh, where he played Wyatt Earp. You don't remember the name, do you? What's the name? I don't remember either. It's not the uh, eight seventeen to Waco or whatever. <laughs> no, whatever it's, that uh, is. What's the name of that movie with Val Kilmer? I don't know, but I Tombstone. Didn't... Tombstone. Thank you oh, very yeah, much. That was a big movie, but there are so many big people in there. You know, Val Kilmer. Well, he was one of them. Yes, there is a movie. Oh, we can move on. Can we move on yet? Well, okay. Well, you got another movie in mind? No, I, the movie that isn't going to be made here. Everybody's looking forward to this movie. It's true. You said it had a uh, code name. Well, it's Are not we allowed to say it anymore? We can say it now. It's been in the papers. It's called killed. Lone Ranger. It was, the code name was Silver Bullet. Silver Anybody Bullet. Anybody could have figured that one out. Um, it's a shame. The Lone Ranger, it, they were going to film uh, in New Mexico, part of it in southern New Mexico, around Silver City, Denver. Uh, Denver. Yeah. Deming with uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Deming. I, I interviewed. Johnny Depp. I yes. auditioned for that movie over a month ago. And that's about when they killed it. Yeah. They decided oh, yeah. if we're going to get quality like this, we might as well, well just move uh, on. Just 88. Yeah. Sink it. Sink that film. So that's what happened. So it may come back. You never know with these things. You know, funding. It may, like but that. it probably won't. Well, recently there's a, been a lot of remakes. There's, a, there, there's an incredible number of remakes. Conan the Barbarian, <laughs> which uh, the paper said was pretty, pretty barbarous. Yes. Uh, is there, you know, the Planet of the Apes remix or that was whatever, pre-pre-mint. I enjoyed that you one. You liked it? Yeah, I did. I saw it. I you liked it. You like the monkeys jumping out of office buildings? Sure, who doesn't? That is always thrilling. You know, it, it reminds me of the Wizard of Oz scene. Really? Yeah, you know, with all well, these monkeys coming. Well, these didn't have wings on them. I know. But no matter how high up they jumped, they always landed on their feet. And bounced, right? Because they're monkeys. They can do stuff like that. Well, they're uh, special they, monkeys. See, if I was doing that movie, I'd have them being slipping on banana peels. That would make sense. They'd come down and slip on a banana well, peel. Well, this wasn't a comedy. That's what, well, that's how you make it a comedy. How, I mean, didn't they have anybody who know new comedy there? Banana peels, monkeys, it's a natural mix. Can't mix. Can't, can't, you can can't mix miss. banana peels. Okay. These kids would love monkeys slipping on banana peels, wouldn't you? Say yes real loud. Never mind. Say okay. So anyway, we have well, you know, gallery. The, the one place you don't want to slip on a banana peel is when you're getting on an escalator. Because well, uh, among many times I never like to slip on a <laughs> banana peel. But Especially yes, when you're getting off the escalator. Cause escalators you know. are good. Too bad we don't have any escalators in Las Cruces. Oh, contraire. What? What? We don't Las, shock me. We, Las Cruces now has its very first escalator. God, ever. Ever, everything's up to date in Las Cruces City. Well, it's, they got, we finally they got arrived. buildings like three stories tall sometimes. And everything. And escalators. We yeah. don't have an escalator. And there, we have a plane and a building. <laughs> hmm. That's airspace. You well, know why? Well, that's they figured they, uh, huh? Las Cruces wanted to sell airspace. Well, there, we, there's an escalator. That's the escalator. That's the actual escalator that we now have in Las Cruces. We believe it is. But one of the things we, we are not certain about is if there's a down escalator. Because very often... You know, well, they don't think about everything. has to come down. Well, I think there's a fire pole to get down. Why not? I it would make it more fun. Well, you know, we, we haven't been there to see the up and I, down I escalator. I was there. You know, I did go there and I saw the airplane. You probably went up the down I, escalator. I forgot to look up the escalator. I kept walking down it. Well, I'll see. Uh, yeah, against the flow of people. There. Excuse me. Yes, Excuse me. I saw the plane. Uh huh. They should have it on a whirly thing. Well, you know, you know like we haven't said where it is up. yet. Well, er, this is Las Cruces. There's not too many places for things to be. Well, you never know around here. But Do this, you know where it is? This particular escalator happens know? to be actually at, at the university. Where? It's at Barnes & Noble. See, that's, the, that's the a new big student thing. bookstore. Say the Barnes & Noble, everybody knows the new Takes you from the first floor up to the second floor where all the expensive textbooks are. So they don't want you to have to expend too much energy to get up where the big money is spent. Right, and then you're so depressed you're down anyway. You don't need a down elevator. Yes, right. those those books are really expensive. I I know that people have been looking at alternative books. When you have these books that cost like 150 bucks, you can always find other books to buy that only cost oh 75. 
and a book you're going to use for last you're going to use a book for one semester. You got to pay those outrageous fees. That's the price of admission, you know. That's and every year it's a new book. You got to use last year's book. Although I think Barnes and Noble had an ad on, <clears> and they always have this, where you could uh, sell them back to Barnes and Noble. Mm -hmm. And you can get almost 50% of your money back. Is it going to be kind of like so COAs, where you turn in three books and you and get you credit get for one book? Credit, yes. No, I think you actually get actual cash. And I th all students know this, that if you bring your used textbooks back without writing on them, without ripping pages out, without wrapping your gum in there and doing mm -hmm. that, you can get uh, some most of your money back, if most is 51%. <laughs> Well, when I was in college, I always liked to buy the used uh, textbooks that where somebody had, uh, some smart person had highlighted all the stuff I needed to really know. That so that's all I ever had to read. Those are the kind of textbooks I always wanted to buy. That's a good idea. I always used to buy used swimming trunks. But it didn't work as well. Well, because they were they mine. Because, well, yeah, and because uh, they were all yellow. <laughs> they were. They well, were, But <laughs> I didn't study off them. Anyway. So yes, the go and take a look at you can. It's it's an incredible museum to go into Barnes and Noble. You can see an airplane. You can see an escalator or two or a descalator. Uh, the other side is a descalator. The deescalator. They have to save up money. You know, we haven't determined the price. Call us. Tell us how much it costs. Fourteen million, twenty-five million. Oh, we're you mean not sure. The new store. Yeah, the new store. Well, it was you know it's paid for by state money and Barnes and Noble. Combined. And from what I understand, the top floor, which holds the textbooks, yeah. smaller than the old section that uses textbooks. And the reason is, people are getting away from textbooks. Pretty soon, everything will be on your iPod I refuse. Or, 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 pad, your Kindle. or your Kindle or your mm. Nook. Mm. Can you highlight in a Kindle? I have a, yes, you can. Can you dog ear a page in yes, a Kindle? Yes, you can. Really? Yes, it, both a Kindle and a Nook. You can dog ear and you can highlight. You can also look up definitions of words you don't know. I have a nook. Really? <coughs> nook, nook. Why? Well, you know, I'll tell you, when I was in college, um, things were made so much easier for me when I finally realized that the dictionary, that the, all the words in the dictionary were there in alphabetical order. They were. Made things so much easier. Where'd you learn alphabetical order? Never you mind. You were never very good at memorizing I had a things. tutor. <laughs> right, but they told you never to play with it. Um, Listen, uh, Coming up, oh, yes, we're, we're going to talk we're about. Uh, well, we're moving along pets. here, aren't we? Well, you know, this weekend uh, the low cost, well, the animal shelter is doing yes. a low cost. They want to have a low cost pet pet medical center, where they can actually do more sterilizations. Right now, they do about fifty a week. They'd like to do about seventy five more a week, possible. And but they don't have the structure the for it. The way to do that is what to get scalpels with two blades at the same time. Just ambidextrous just surgeons, right? No, what they need is a new structure, which is going to cost them about eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> so somebody's going to oh, cough up the money uh, to do the spaying and neutering. That's where they neuter you. Yeah, because right when, when you when you adopt a pet from the shelter, it's, it's, it's already spayed and neutered. Yeah. That's one of the reasons you pay seventy five dollars. Right. So for a dog comes just what you want. A dog that's not going to be howling at night and running after other dogs right. or cats running after other cats. Well, last year over eight thousand dogs and cats were killed at the at the on purpose at the shelter. And it, so it's true that accidents usually happen very close to home. And they all died by accident. Well, no, no, by, by they, you know, injection. By re reaching things off high shelves, uh, well, that, that's slipping how, in the bathtub. No, that's how accidents in the home happen. Oh. These were uh, actually euthanized animals at the shelter. 8,000, 8,300 animals actually, but that's less than previous years. That's good to know. That's but because there's not enough to birth Yeah, them. but it's still way too many. Well, we're on that incredibly depressing note, we're going to take a break. I'm going to cry for a little bit because uh, I'm so sad hearing about all those animals. No, we're going to come back. We're going to talk about, about pet adoption. Yes, happy things. When we get back, and we will do so right after these words. <laughs> 